community members, residential school survivors, chiefs, and matriarchs gathered outside Mount Elizabeth Secondary School in Kitimat, BC, showing solidarity with Heisler youth. Alex Grant says his son decided to wear traditional regalia to school for picture day on Monday. A teacher allegedly asked why he was wearing a costume. What's up with the costume today in front of his entire class? And he repeatedly asked him the question, you know, what's up with the costume? Um, at first, it's not a costume. You know, we take our regalia and our tradition very serious, so. Students showed up in their regalia and support the next day. The same teacher from the incident allegedly tried to separate two students. Grandson and his friend, they were both kicked out of class. And the indigenous students walked out in solidarity and arranged a protest outside of the school. Grant is proud of the youth for showing their leadership and the community for showing support to his son. You know, to see so many First Nation students and non-First Nations staff from Mount Elizabeth, our hereditary chiefs, uh, our chief and council here. It was good to see everybody come together and, you know, work or stand in unity as one. Grant says their family met with the school district and they will be investigating the incident. The school district and the Heisler Nation Council released a joint statement. Coast Mountain School District 82 appreciates, encourages, and supports the collective voice of students regardless of ancestry. As the superintendent of schools, I can assure you that appropriate steps are being taken to ensure that Heisla culture is alive and visible. This is not the first time cultural ignorance has taken place at Canadian schools recently. Last year, a First Nation girl in Saskatoon wore a ribbon skirt to her formal day and was shamed by a teacher's assistant. Grant believes moments like this can give an opportunity to create a better system for youth in our schools, and more can be done to increase cultural awareness. You look at how First Nations art is not a full class, or you look at the lack of knowledge on our kids' behalf in residential schools. Uh, so I'd like to see a lot more done. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Kitimat.